The English Cocker Spaniel is on the smaller range of dogs, not as small as a Chihuahua, but still smaller than a Border Collie. He's a sturdy dog with a delightful personality, upbeat in the field and mellow at home, the perfect family pet. He'll watch out and warn you when strangers approach, but if they want to steal your silver, he's more likely to show them the way rather than chase them away. But today we're going to talk about what your cocker needs when it comes to grooming, so let's dive in. The English Cocker Spaniel has a medium length coat, flat or slightly wavy with a silky texture. Their legs, chest and belly are covered with longer hair called feathering, which is more than just pretty to look at. Feathering helps protect your cocker's body from scratches or other injuries as he ploughs himself through the field. A cocker can come in a range of colours. The perhaps most common colours are white with markings in black, liver or shades of red. Other colours can be solid black, liver, shades of red, black and tan, liver and tan. Regardless of colour, your Cocker Spaniel will need some assistance to keep his coat clean and free from tangles. That's where the brush comes in handy. You'll need to brush him every other day or so to keep his coat free from tangles and mats, and not to mention the leaves and other interesting things that will get stuck in his coat when, when he's been in the field. If you're interested in showing your dog, you'll need some more advanced grooming. The best way for you to learn is to ask your breeder for instructions and perhaps a workshop so that you can learn the best way to trim your Cocker's coat to look the best. And if you're one of those people with little or no interest in grooming, it is of course possible to trim your cocker's coat so that it's short all over. Whilst this is not breed standard, some owners of cocker spaniels do this to avoid the coat grooming process altogether. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. Now while the coat is important enough your cocker's nails are more important. You need to trim those at least once preferably twice a month. If they grow too long it'll affect your cocker's gait, how he stands on his paws which in turn can cause damage on his skeleton and give him pain and serious discomfort. The issue of brushing a dog's teeth is heavily debated in some areas. The good thing with it just as for humans is that it prevents tartar from building up in tooth decay. Seen from that perspective, it should be no debate at all. But if you haven't done this before, consult your vet or a pet store. They'll tell you all about it and show you how it's done, which tools to use and so on. Everything to give you the best conditions to prevent damage to your dog's mouth and expensive bills at the vet to fix your dog's teeth as he gets older. The Cocker Spaniel has long floppy ears. With ears like these, it's important to check them regularly, preferably once a week at least. You want to prevent excessive production of wax or moisture to gather up in the ear canal. You want to look, smell and clean your cocker's ears and you can do that with a cotton pad and a gentle ear rinse. If it's smelly, red or otherwise looks funny then you may want to book an appointment with your vet. The Cocker Spaniel is a handsome dog. While he isn't the most demanding breed when it comes to grooming, he still needs some love and attention. Now some dogs don't like this kind of handling, so it's your job to make sure that your dog understands that these things are necessary. Practice that calm, consistent leadership that we talk about so often here at Fenrir and make the grooming process a bonding experience for you and your dog. Make it nice, safe and cosy and the whole thing will be much easier on both you and your dog. And that wraps up today's video on the issue of grooming your Cocker Spaniel. I hope you learned something new and that you'll come back for future videos on everything you need to know about the glorious Cocker Spaniel.